Cue music. I don't want gossip and talk. A cultural expression evolved by and for the youth of today. A little bit spicy, but not too raw, you know what I mean? A party that's fun for all. Do you see what's happening to the youth of today? Now, here it is, your moment of zen. Daily. 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 Nugget. You're listening to the Daily Nugget, dnugget.com. It is Friday free for all, and this one is definitely going to be a free for all or battle royale. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on things go. It's going to be on this corner. It's the men. My name's Andy with Sam. And <laughs> on the other corner, we've got Jen and Janelle. They are Hello. women. I hate confrontation. No, you yeah. don't. You love it. <laughs> You're homeschooled. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? I don't oh know. I just goodness. wanted to say that. This is the worst ever. Okay. So here's an, uh, <laughs> you know, it's funny because, you know, <laughs> our understanding. Why, why of, is it funny? <laughs> because the understanding of things of the universe and of how things work uh, mentally and physically and things like that has changed in in many years, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, like uh, in the old days, uh, they used sure. to think like if you had a headache that you should put leeches on your, you know, your 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 body to to suck out the extra blood. To I've actually pressure. never heard of that. No, I no, you haven't. <laughs> Me neither. Or you know, like that they. Thought, I'm going to go ahead and call shenanigans. No, really. <laughs> You don't believe that? I've heard, I've heard of that before. Bloodletting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, they do it. Oh, it's a homeschool thing. I get it. They still oh, do it in some on. places. Actually, it, it apparently is actually somewhat, there is some some sort of scientific basis to that one. Uh, but there's oh. other things that really just don't have any basis, like, you know, um, you know, when they were doing witch trials and, you know, it was like they would put them in the water and if they sank and drowned, then they weren't a witch. And if they floated, they were, which then they'd kill them anyway. So wow. things, okay. like, things like that. So, you know, there's lots yeah, of things no. where we thought, oh, we know what we're doing. Or like doctors at one point um, did not wash their hands when they were um, helping with childbirth. And this doctor found out, real, figured it out that the reason why all these babies were dying as they were being born is because the doctors weren't washing their hands. And so he tried to convince mm-hmm. the doctors to wash their hands, and it took a very long time for them to decide to actually want that, that washing their hands is a good thing. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's just a point of, at one point, we think things, and then science and other things help us realize that it's otherwise. Okay. Mm-hmm. With that said, mm-hmm. a guy okay. written in the year 1505 has been found. <laughs> So it's really relevant and everything, okay? Right. Well, so, so yes. So take this uh, with everything as a grain of salt. Uh, you yeah. can debate the merits of whether it's valid or not. Um, I'll let not. Sam and Jen debate those. <laughs> Good. All right. So this is the book called De Secretis Mullarium, which is, I think, Latin for On the Secrets of Women. That's what it says in the book there. Uh, Which is right there. We should just stop right there. The secrets of women. Well, the funny thing is, is it was written by a man. Mm-hmm. And let me just. It's not really you. funny. <laughs> I'll be, it's funny. I'd call this plenty funny. I. Well, how can a man write a book about a woman? A woman should write a book about a woman because we know how we are. You men have no clue. See, I'm haven't you? Saying. Haven't you ever? What was that show? Um, or the movie? with uh jack nicholson in it he said when when asked about how he writes women so well he says i take a man i take away reason and responsibility yes that's from as good as it gets um are you kidding me albertus magnus no who wrote this not at all i haven't even gotten into the the actual information of the book (laughs) we're trying to stall you here you're you're jumping to conclusion (laughs) i don't Janelle jumps, jumps to a lot of things, but conclusions, no. So the guy was a theologian and a scientist, and he was writing this to be given to a priest to help him understand women. He's also mentally insane, we're pretty sure. No, yeah. I'm going to go yeah. ahead and say you're wrong. Here's the deal. <laughs> okay. I don't know if men have progressed much in their knowledge of women since this book. <laughs> So if, if, if you're listening right. and you're a female, the information I'm about to give you might be what men are thinking. 
<laughs> it might be wow. offensive. Some men. Let's go ahead and put the disclaimer out there. It might be offensive. I'm, yeah, it might be offensive because uh, honestly, some men think this way. First off, in the book, it says females are failed males. I don't understand how that that doesn't even make any sense. Uh, I think well, it makes a lot. That, that is a great opener for a book. Yes, I think that's that makes great. A fantastic. Yeah. It, it makes so much sense. Yeah. Wow. And I'll tell you what, that's I know fun. I know people that I still I know guys that still think that think that about women. <laughs> that think they're better than women. I'm not one of those. I am. So Thank goodness. Way to save yourself there. So they say that's the worst advice from the secrets of women. They also go into an elaborate procedure to check to see if a woman is chaste or not. Oh uh, really? That's the word you're gonna use? Yeah. <laughs> really? It's not virgin isn't a dirty word, Andy. Okay. Way to point it's it out there, Sam. Go ahead, lay out all your cards. All right. So okay, um, to to see if a woman was a virgin. In this book, it says you're supposed to sniff lettuce, and after sniffing lettuce, if she needs to go to the bathroom, then she is quote unquote corrupted. I don't even know why we're. Are you I, sure that's science? Did, and, 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 this, this is ludicrous. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's science. If she then wants to go to the loo, she is quote unquote corrupted. Also, and uh, this, you know, I had I had a theory somewhere similar to this in college. <laughs> is this the tent? Yes, the tent theory. <laughs> but that's still that's that's an actual thing that happened though. Other revelations include women being able to kill animals with a glance during a certain t- uh, time. Of the month. <laughs> wow. What are you trying to say? <laughs> when I was in college, I had a theory. Oh, okay. I thought, and I. You still have this theory. I thought it was in the Bible, but I haven't ever been able to find it. No, we, we actually found there. out later that that was an actual ritual that happened, though. Was it? Wow. Yeah, it was. I, okay, that so is I, for real. So I figured it out somehow. I thought it was like Leviticus or something. But I think I think it may be in there somewhere. Yes. But um, I have not really. Tell done me what the verse is. I know everything. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so anyway, um, at least to, to my understanding, uh, that I I believe that either I read this or heard this in one of my Bible classes is that during that time. And, you know, they were in this huge camp that the women, because, you know, um, in the Jewish culture, there's a lot of different ceremonies. And, um, you know, Leviticus is just chock full with, okay, if you do this, you're unclean. You have to do this for so many days, you know? And it goes back and forth. And uh, I, was, I thought that one of them was, if that time, of, you know, during that time, um, that the women had to go into this specific tent, and that they were all in this tent because it was it was not you know they were unclean during that time, and so uh, we had some friends that uh, were all female, and they decided one of them, to... one of them being his future wife, yes. mind you, yes, and uh, they were all in the same duplex. It was six of them, insane, and so our nickname for that place was the tent. Yep. No oh, good grief. Well. <laughs> Good to know that in the dwell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they ever refer to it themselves as the tent, but that was the uh, the nickname that was given to it and stuck for anybody else who was an outsider and wow. say, "Oh, going to did the tent." Did they find out? Oh, they knew. Uh, I think. And how did they react? I don't know. They're probably well, angry about it, but let's, let's be honest here, Andy. I'm trying to remember. There was there was a myriad of personalities that were in. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Let me tell you, with there six you with six women, regardless of the time of the month, somebody was angry in that house. Yes, with six women <laughs> in one small a duplex. Yeah, me calling it a tent was the least of their problems. Although I've been told that when a group of women live together, their cycles tend to sync. Yeah, and that blows my mind. I don't understand that. That scares me to death. <laughs> and I also heard it attracts bears. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> wow. So you would be angry and insane enough to fight them off. So it's okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, my head. Now, listen. I, being the Bible authority, thank you very much, yes. have right. found yeah. the what the a reference that you were talking about. It's in Leviticus 15. And it doesn't say anything about them having to go to a special tent, although it says that when they were uh, thought to be clean, they had to take two doves or two pigeons and bring them to the entrance of the tent of the meeting. So maybe that's where you got it. Maybe. The tent of the meeting was actually... Uh, you're, you're actually talking about a ritual? I just found it here. <clears throat> it's called Milklava or something like that. And Are you Googling Biblical? it, Sam? I did Google it because oh, I'm boy. way quicker than you. Um, <laughs> you did not just say that. I'm not... It explains so, why he's going second. You know, Janelle, I'm, I'm sorry, but you are just what? a failed version of a man. Oh! <laughs> wow! That's it. I'm throwing down my, throwing down my, my Skype. What are you saying? This is just like ludicrous. I can't believe it. People, why, why do we have to be the failed version? Why can't the man be the failed version? How come the women Janelle, are the ones? Janelle, Janelle, what? Janelle, Janelle. <laughs> you, you are planning on writing a book at some point in your life, right? Yes. Okay, well then just work on writing a book about guys written by a woman. There you go. I'll write a book about men. There it is. <laughs> yep. Janelle, Done. you can't fight science. I'm oh. sorry. You cannot. I'm sorry. Enough with well, the science, okay? If I can come up with a it's bunch science. of cockamamie schemes like this guy, I can call myself a, sc a scientist. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, apparently. Janelle, yeah. the earth mm -hmm. has a fever and females are failed males. Those ah. are the two things. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just kidding. All right. Oh. Uh, some other things here. Um, <laughs> moving on to other things that will. Oh, yeah, let's, let's say some more. Let's be more offensive. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that hopefully don't matter. If women but... have odd food cravings during pregnancy, that means they have evil humors. I don't even know what that means. I don't Whoa. understand that. I think this okay. guy's obsessed. Oh. <laughs> I don't know with what. Now, the funny thing is, is that this guide is considered much more progressive compared to earlier ideas about women. So I guess see, this is this is like the more enlightened version of what they used to think before this. So what what it came down to is they were trying to provide information, enabling men to avoid women. <laughs> Instead of putting them to death. Well, that is good news. As, as they have been urged by earlier writers, so you have to decide what's better. To... Uh, yeah, okay. Wow. I want to know how many times this guy was uh, divorced or just like how many relationships he was in because, wow. Well, you know, he obviously, maybe, maybe he, you know, he probably had a whole bunch of women that were you know, potential, potential wives. But he just stood there with a head of lettuce and said, sniff this. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Wow. Damn. 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 <laughs> wow. If you like the smell of lettuce, let us know. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Even I eat a lot of lettuce. Mm. It just, it, you you really are you you're combining a lot of things that are just not right. They're not right here. A lot of words. Not I think right. we need to have a whole episode dedicated to the the weirdness of guys now. And yeah. Just treat them like they're complete facts, like we did in this episode. Well, here's something that I would like to throw in that just happened today as uh, evidence to the weirdness of guys. That they think that smelling like gasoline and having dirty hands yeah. is manly. What? Yeah. And yeah. that's like a cologne of some kind. I know. And like, I, I really succeeded. Thank you. I got something done on my to-do list. <laughs> I go douse myself in some gasoline. What is that? It didn't even make any sense. <laughs> if when you walk in a room, you have to warn people not to light a match. Doesn't necessarily mean it's manly. <laughs> Who's the failed one here? <laughs>